Hey friends, it's me, Miss Katie. Um, I am using my phone so that it's better picture quality. Um, today we are going to make mosaic Easter eggs. Um, this is I kind of started mine. Um, what you will need for this project is white paper. You will need chalk. I just went out to the garage and got my kids chalk. Nothing special. Um, painter's tape. I would recommend using the thinner. Um, painter's tape. Mine's thick. So I had to cut mine in half. Um, and then a cup of water. Alright, so your first step is to cut out your egg. Um, it would be easier if you traced out an egg, but I didn't. Um, so I just kind of cut around the edges so that it was rounded like this. And then if a corner seemed to be too pointy like this one is, um, I just rounded it off with my scissors. Like so. Not perfect, but it works out okay. Alright. Alright, the next step with your egg is to put painter's tape on it in any kind of pattern that you wanted. I decided to go with lines. So I did my lines one way and then I'll do the lines the other way. Because my tape is the wider tape, I ripped some off, folded it in half with the sticky side on the outside, and then I stuck it to my table on the creased edge, took my scissors, and cut it in half. It seemed to work out better since the tape is sticky. And there you have a thinner piece of tape. And then you're just going to put it any way that you want it. I'm going to put my tape over here since I already have one. Okay, <clears throat> then, sorry, I played with my hair. I washed it today. <laughs> okay, so then you take your, whichever color you chose. Um, I have purple, I have blue, I have green, and then a pink. Okay, you're going to take your water, dip just a little bit, dip your chalk in, so it's like that, okay, and then find a square on your paper, let me go back there, find a square on your paper and color it in. If you have to dip it again, that's okay. You don't want to dip it too much um, in the water because then it will rip your paper. Construction paper would have worked better, but I only have computer paper, or I guess printer paper. I'm making sure to outline it and then get the inside. Alright, now I'm going to switch my colors. I think I'm going to use green. Oh, I kind of like what the green's doing on my paper. Very nice.
All right. Hmm. Let me go with blue. Oh, who likes blue? I know I have some friends who like the color blue. If you notice with the water, it kind of smears your paint so it covers more surface, which is nice. I like it because it give it it gives it kind of like a paintbrush type look. Like I said, it probably would have worked out a little bit better if I had um, a little thicker paper. So I'm trying not to get it too wet. You could try it on construction paper. Um, maybe try a yellow. A yellow might be really cool. Now see my, this particular, um, chalk is square. So I'm using, I'm dipping it in my water but I'm using just the corner of it and it gives this this nice cool water look All right. hmm. Another cool way that you could color this is by doing a pattern. And we know from Miss Sarah that a pattern would go, one pattern you could do would be pink, green, pink, green, pink, green. Or you could do pink, green, blue, pink, green, blue, pink, green, blue. I would love to see what kind of patterns you have come up with. If you want to take a picture when you're done and then put it in the comments so I can see what you did at home. I'm not choosing to go with a pattern. I'm just kind of putting on there what I think looks good. Then when your paper is all dry, you will take off your have mom or dad or grandma or grandpa take off your painter's tape for you when it's all dry. And what I'm gonna do with mine is I'm gonna go put them up, tape them to my windows out front. Um, I don't know if anyone else has done this, but we started putting pictures on our windows, um, inspirational pictures, or the boys drew silly faces and they put them on the window so anyone that's going out for a walk will have something to look at and maybe brighten their day. If you have done that, could you also take a picture of that and post it below because I would love to see it. Um, mine is not completed. I'm going to still work on it, but this is kind of what it would look like. And then mom or dad is going to take off the paint or the painter's tape when it's dry. Not when it's wet because it'll rip. And hopefully you can post it up in a window. All right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.